Hello there, my name's Josh Hall, and I'll be talking through this 3D reconstruction of the Trafalgar Street Tunnel, uh, built for Oculus Rift. Uh, so what we have here is a um, 35 meter long tunnel that I have reconstructed using a process called Structure from Motion. Uh, and I've reconstructed it at two different points in time, one uh, at the beginning of 2014, and the other about eight months later, after they'd whitewashed the original graffiti from the space. So with this reconstruction you can walk through the 35 meter long tunnel, have a look around, it's in fairly good detail. The resolution is, um, is definitely good enough to have a look at what's going on. And then if you, um, if you want to have a little bit more of an experience than just the walking through yourself, you can play back tours. So let's get the tour menu up. And we can select one of these tours. And hello, it's Chris Tan here again. Just going to do a little bit of a talk about some of the paste up and sticker. So now lovely uh, and the guide will talk you through controls. the space so uh, the guide for this and stickers a little bit different to all some of the other things that we've talked about before is that the main thing is that with paste ups here's one little example up here you can have a look at is basically paste ups and stickers are applying the art somehow to a poster or a self adhesive paper so um, stickers are usually quite easy to print on or draw on sticker paper you can also, oops, this is one of mine, dull. But, um, so the guide is uh, a veteran graffiti artist in the area, uh, Christopher Tam. The tunnel is based in Sydney, it's in Enmore, uh, which is a inner west suburb of Sydney. Um, and this project is what I would describe as digital conservation or digital heritage, just documenting the site and um, letting people experience it through time. So at two different dates. I hope you find it fun. Um, ideally you can control using the game controller. There is su limited support for a keyboard but the game controller is easier to keep track of what you're pressing while you're wearing the Oculus Rift so it makes sense to use it a little bit more than trying to find the keys on the uh, keyboard. Alright, great. Um, I'd love to hear your comments and uh, suggestions as well. I'm thinking of doing another another um, documentation at a different time and adding that to the two different time periods.